Uh, the methane coming out of landfills, as all of you know, is 23 times more potent a greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide. It's just there's not so much of it, even with all the farming that goes on around the world. Still, it's a substantial source of global warming. We're working with Mexico City, with Lagos, Nigeria, with Sao Paulo and Rio, with Lima in Peru, with Delhi and Mumbai on options for developing their landfills. Whenever I think of a big urban landfill, I think not just of an eyesore and a public health threat and a contributor to global warming, I see it as a source of great wealth. And again, most of the problems we've got, even though there are some great integrated management companies around the world, are rooted in the fact that so much upfront cash is, is needed to maximize the potential of the landfill that the financing is not aligned with other financing options available to people who want to build a coal-fired power plant, for example. So we're trying to help all these various places come to their own peace with this. For example, in Peru, we're working with an NGO down there to actually train scavengers to be full-time recycling workers. Put them on regular salary. Give them access to decent health care. Let them be part of building a new industry in, in glass and metals. Uh, in the Mexico City project we're working on, what they want to do is to recover the methane coming out of the landfill for positive energy sources and divert it from being put directly into the atmosphere. And we do what people want us to do. I would far prefer it if they wanted to clean off the landfill and use everything in it, because then you get all the land back. So you stop producing methane, but you have plenty of stuff to burn up every day. You can have other people extract the organic material out of the landfill and compost it and turn it into fertilizer. It's one of the things the Indians are interested in doing, sending it out into rural areas to their farmers and providing a better growth pattern for agriculture and also reducing refuse. Then you can take everything that's left and depending on the size of the landfill and its location vis-a-vis -vis, uh, manufacturing facilities, you can either use it for cogeneration with manufacturers or just feed it directly into the electrical grid. I think, I, I'll make you a prediction, I think the people in the how business will spend more and more and more time on what to do about urban waste over the next f five years because it's a terrific source of new energy and energy efficiency and advances against climate change.